Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at some of our linkage controls on our Cebus machines. So you now join me back up in the cab of our Cebus machine looking at the level of functionality we have for our rear linkage and how we'd set that up for different tasks. Well firstly, how do we control it manually? Well we see here on the side of our C-Motion joystick we have this panel here which is directly located to our rear linkage. We have a four axis movement on this. So firstly, the fore and the aft movement on this is our manual up and down. So as if we wanted to connect to an implement in the yard, for example. Once we then get out into the field, we can then start to use our in and out of work function. These are located to our sort of maximum height and a working depth. So how do we set these? Well, firstly, we have our depth wheel over on the right-hand side of the armrest, which we can choose our working depth. So maybe, for example, 20% if we want to keep a fixed height, or all the way right down to float if we want the implement to carry on the packer roller of the implement, for example. We can then have the benefit of being able to adjust this on the move and fine-tune it while we are still in the work position, for example. So now that we've seen how to adjust our in work position, how do we adjust our maximum height? Well, looking over at the B pillar on the right hand side of our machine, we see that we have our rear linkage panel here. So obviously up at the top left of the machine, we have all of our PTO speeds. And the top right, then we have some linkage control buttons, which we'll have a look at at the moment. But underneath then, at the bottom, we have some dials in controlling our rear linkage. Top left hand dial will be for our maximum height. So for example, if we had a mounted plow on, we would obviously want this relatively high up at near 90 or nearly 100%. But once we add on maybe a PTO powered implement, we'd want to turn this down a little bit so that we any avoid any knocking on our PTO shaft. Bottom left hand dial then will be responsible for drop speed and lift speed. So by dialing this further around clockwise, this speeds it up and going anti-clockwise, this then slows it down. Bottom right hand dial is responsible for draft control, so making that more or less sensitive by going clockwise or anti-clockwise respectively. And if we have radar or wheel slip control spec on our machine, we would have an additional dial located here for setting our allowable wheel slip amount. So maybe 10 to 20% for example. Above these then, as I said for our linkage controls, we have simply linkage up, linkage down, we can turn our rear linkage suspension on and off if we so wished and being able to isolate our rear linkage if we wanted to go on the road. And like I then said about our wheel slip control, we would have an additional button here to be able to turn that function on or off. So what do we see on our screen in relation to our linkage controls? Well, obviously we have our linkage display at the back end of our tractor silhouette on our field display where we can see the current height value at 83% underneath the linkage height bar. We can tell that the linkage is currently locked by the padlock symbol. We can then also tell where our desired working position is set by the position of the triangle, which we can see is at 20%. We can see our maximum height, which is annotated by the black dash. So by looking at the black dash down to the triangle, this will be moving in between our in and out of work positions. You can see now as we move up to our out of work position, it stops at the black dash. And as I press my in work button, it now moves down to the white triangle that goes green as I have selected my in work position. As I move up and down, you can see that the padlock has disappeared from the linkage state icon and changes to an up arrow or a down arrow. So, thank you for watching everyone. I hope it helped. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.